Welcome back guys, it's your boy the Ace, back with another special. So today is the companion episode to my Darknet video. If you didn't watch that, make sure you click watch that and come back to this one. Now, this tutorial I've made is going to be a blueprint to constructing a privacy fortress in a way. Whether you're a journalist, activist or someone that fiercely protects their own digital privacy, will navigate what can seem like a labyrinth in not only securing your environment, installing Apache, MariaDB, PHP and making your own private WordPress site. But then I'll also reveal the secret of generating a vanity onion address using MK2P and configuring your Tor service to cloak your site's anonymity on the dark web. Now, this isn't just a guide, it's a masterclass in digital stealth and security. So buckle up, turn up those speakers, and let's go. Go, go, go! So what we want to start with is a general update of not only the packages, but also the dependencies that you have. Now we can just fire that off, make sure they're all installed so we can start fresh and continue. There we have it, that's done. Next, what we wanna do is string a quite a long chain of command, but here we're gonna install Apache, PHP, uh, any PHP dependencies, PHP, MySQL, MariaDB, and we can install that. As you can see, that is already installed and done. Now that's done, we're ready to configure the MariaDB server and database, so, First, we want to do is start the MariaDB service using the system CTL command as such. That will start the service. Then we want to, at the same time, enable the service. And there we have it, it is enabled. And then we also want to MySQL secure installation. From here, there are a number of steps we can do. I have done it all, but you can follow through your own steps once you enter the admin password and go through those processes. Next, what we wanna do is obviously set up the WordPress. Now, we can grab WordPress just using a wgit and then the installation URL using the tar gz. Now we'll grab that and that's done. Now we want to tar ZF that version of WordPress and just grab that and extract it. That's done. And now what we want to do is just move the instance uh, to the var www HTML directory so we can actually use it with the Apache server later down the line. All right, so this is saying I already have that within that directory, let's just check that out quickly yeah it's already there that's why um for you you shouldn't have that issue once it's there because i already did that step now the next step is to set the correct permissions and configuration for wordpress settings files in your database and this is followed as such so we set the pseudo change ownership regarding that var ww wordpress file Next, we will recursively change ownership to 755 as well against the same file. Now we can CD into the actual directory again. Now we're in WordPress. What can, we can do now is copy over the sample and change the name from sample to the actual config that we'll be using we shall just do that with a sudo and that is done next we can open up nano and actually configure that file to set the username database and passwords for mariadb to later use down the line now, as you can see here, we'll go through, anyone's familiar with a WordPress setup, we'll go through here 
and we shall set up the username, password, and local host. Local host is fine. UTF eight for the DB char set is fine, and the DB collates. Leaving it like that, it's fine. All right, now we're done with that. Next, what we want to do is obviously generate our vanity or unique dot onion address. Now here we're going to leverage cat huggers repo. And if you haven't seen it already, let's just take a look at what's going on here because I think it's very good work. Shout out to him. Now, if we go into this repo, the main repo here we're going to looking at is the MKP. Now here's the repo that we're going to leverage. Now the tool, as it says, generates the vanity or hidden service onion address. Uh, there's some prerequisites, but we would already have that in the code I'm going to provide you. And I will show you also how to use it. But this is the reference of the tool that we're going to be using to achieve that. Now then what we want to do is a git clone within this now you can see it already exists because i already have it then we shall cd into said location there you go it's there now the commands what you want to do is the following you want the dot slash autogen sh And you want the dot slash configure, and then you would use the make command to make those packages. There you have it. And say it can't do it, of course, we will have to run it through sudo. All right, I think if we pre end that with sudo, there we go. Now, how to actually leverage this application, we shall use dot slash the package name. And then you've got these two parameters here. You've got this filter and my blog. We don't care about that because those are two string words that we will use in order to prepend whatever vanity URL we want. So for example, if I put pen ace here, this might take some time to generate, but as you can see here, it's sorting out the filters and it's filtering for pen ace and it's showing how many threads. Now here, there's a, it's crunching basically some data sets and numbers to find what combination is available in order to use that vanity URL. Now it's gonna try to prepend pen ace to a long string of numbers dot onion and that's what we can get what i have seen if the characters are over five then this can take a while if i just put ace there for example it would spit it out almost instantly but we'll let this run for a little bit right as you can see we got one that got spat out if i left this running longer you might have got more combinations but as you can see here we got pen ace there and then we have the random segments of code I mentioned with a dot onion address. Now we can grab this and use it later down the line. So what we want to do is go to sudo and then we can move. We're going to slash temp and then we can go to pen ace. Yes. And then we'll go into var, move that into the lib tor and then whatever the WordPress site is that we're going to apply there. Now we could just call this ace WP. Cool. Now that's moved to ace WP. We can change ownership of that directory as well. And the same thing again. Now what we can do is go into nano 
ATC, then go into that tour directory and then that tour C file, which is basically the configuration file, what tour runs underneath. Now here is the tour user configuration. Now we want to add specific lines to this tour C file in order for it to run specifically under the hidden section. So you start seeing these hidden services. Now you can see here, I've already unhashed them, but essentially you would add these three lines. I added this line for logging purposes, just in case there was any errors while Tor was running, but you would hit this first hidden service port on the port 80, and then your loopback address on port 80, and then this hidden directory, which is your Tor site, but it's not called this. My one is called ACEWP. And then we shall save that. Lovely. Once that's saved, we can restart the tour service. Now that's done. So finally, let's configure the Apache server that serves the actual WordPress website. So we shall go into sudo nano etc Apache and then sites available. And then that'd be the WordPress site that we have. Now then what we want to host here is that Penace vanity address that we earlier referenced so let's just make a side reference of that so we could do a sudo cat and we go into that var directory lib tor and acewp and then slash the host name that should be stored in there there we have it right there so we'll take a copy of that and then now we can run that Apache configuration. And as the server name suggests, we shall put our new vanity server name in this location. There we have it, server name, the document root will be that var directory. Error logs will be your Apache error logs, custom logs will be your log directory for the access logs and then the directory itself will be under again var then you do your index follow symbol links allow overrides require all grants and then you save it as the virtual host under port 80 and that should be done the next important thing to do is to enable the site and the rewrite module so here we can do the sudo a2 n site for the wordpress config file it's quite important the same thing applies to the a2 as well for the emod rewrite and the last one will be a restart of the apache server itself done now all the pieces are together let us try and run this now on the, the tour services and let's connect to tour and let's concatenate again that host name and see if this can be running now and there you have it now we can run our WordPress site that we can evolve into anything, whether it's a dark net forum, even a Silk Road, if you will, later on down the line. But this is just a proof of concept of not just uploading a trashy website, but you can really, really go to town with this, especially if you know how WordPress works and install it and redirect traffic and post whatever you wish to the dark net. And no one could take this down from you because you're the one that's hosting it within your own machine. Now you could privatize this, like I said, using more anonymity tools, which I covered in a previous video. If you didn't watch that, definitely watch that again. But essentially, that is the ACES guide to not only installing a vanity URL, 
installing a WordPress site, but also getting live on the darknet with your own website. Conclusion. And there you have it. We've successfully constructed a covert WordPress site on the dark web, complete with your bespoke vanity address. This isn't just a website. It's a bastion for privacy and free expression for whatever you're intending to do on the dark net. Now remember, this is HT content. I want you to completely obliterate the like button, subscribe of course, share it where it needs to be shared and drop your thoughts. I want to see and hear any questions or comments and tell me what clandestine topics you like to see or discuss next time. Remember, stay vigilant, stay safe in the subspace and peace out.